Before Jacob departs to a new location, Captain needs to evaluate if it's safe to go there. This video will explain how the hazards are identified and which tools we have at our disposal to reduce the risk. We'll start with hazards related to seabed surface. The first thing we should look at are debris or any object on the seabed which could damage the spot can. Those could be natural formations like rocks or something like a steel beam or a lost anchor on a seabed. Any such object should be detected by seabed survey and removed before Jacob arrives on site. Other hazards on seabed surface are steep holes and uneven topography. Most often those will be old spot can holes made by other rigs. Observe how the leg is placed partly over such hole in the ground and we'll see potential consequences of such placement. As you can see, the load may distribute unevenly and cause damage to spot can. It might even cause sudden sliding which would damage spot can, leg or jacking mechanism. It would be better to position the leg directly above the can hole, even if that leaves us farther away from the platform. Although placing one leg on an uneven seabed is not ideal, sometimes we have no choice. We find ourselves having to place at least one leg in an unwanted position. That is when we need seabed data the most, so we could determine if it is safe to do so. Let's move on to hazards related to soil quality and load bearing capacity. Oftentimes the seabed will be layered, and the type of soil will change as the depth increases. Each type of soil has a different load bearing capacity, that is the weight per unit of surface that it can hold. There are no exact numbers that we could apply to every location, but based on the seabed type we know what to expect. Then sand is quite strong and it will not allow any penetration. Soft clay will allow deeper penetration, but hard clay will not. This is why we need leg penetration analysis. It will tell us how deep legs will penetrate before they reach the hard soil, which can hold the weight of the barge. This finally brings us to the final and the biggest hazard related to Jacobs, a punch through. It is a rapid displacement of soil, causing the barge to lose its foundation. The leg will penetrate until it meets the hard soil or until the hull hits the water and holds itself by buoyancy. It can cause catastrophic damage to the vessel and loss of lives. To avoid a punch through and ensure that the ground can safely hold the jack up, seabed needs to be tested before the hull is elevated. After pinning down the legs, the hull is raised to somewhere around half of its floating draft. At that point, more weight will be applied to soil but without raising the hull out of the water. A process called pre-drive. Load is applied by raising a pair of diagonally opposite legs, which leaves all the weight on the two remaining legs. Each pair of diagonal legs will hold the weight for half an hour. That will ensure that the ground is able to sustain the weight of the barge. When no more penetration is observed, it is safe to elevate the hull out of the water. It will not go far, but just around one meter above the waves. And this is when the preload starts. Again, the pair of diagonals are stressed for a period of time in order to test the soil beneath them. More weight is available now since the hull is completely out of the water. The load applied to the seabed is greater than in any scenario which could happen in reality. After weight was held for a chosen period of time, the seabed is considered safe and the hull can elevate to its final air gap. So let's summarize all this. You need a seabed survey to check if there's anything dangerous on the seabed. Then you need LPA because without it you can't know what is under the surface and if the seabed can hold your weight. When that is all analyzed by someone competent, the barge can be brought to the location. Once at location, preload is required to ensure the seabed can hold the weight of the barge when it's elevated. That would be a simple way to explain how we manage the hazards and reduce the risk when arriving at a new location. 
It's not rocket science if you know what you're doing, but you shouldn't be too confident and think you know something just because you watch this video.